was a little tool called Microsoft Find Time. Now, I know from our session last week, a couple of you are already using that, which is awesome. But for those that aren't, definitely one you want to get. So that key thing of like trying to find a time that suits everyone in to have a meeting is always a nightmare. And I know that our lovely assistants in the, in the virtual room know this more than most. Now, last week, actually, Adrian showed a couple of tools for doing this when you're dealing with people in, uh, internally to your team. But what about when you're dealing with people externally? So this tool, Microsoft Find Time, lets you actually create a poll to find what the best time is for people. So I want to demonstrate how it works. Now, I'm going to have the button. You probably won't, but as I said, you can grab it. So don't worry about that. So I've opened up a new, um, uh, a new window here, a new email window. And I'm, first of all, I'm going to start by actually addressing the message to the people internally in my organization that I want to come to the meeting. So I'm going to use you, Adrian. I'm going to use our colleague, Glenn. Now, the, the goal here is that we are going to see what else I've got in here. Um, we are going to end up sending this email to everyone that we want to come to the meeting. And we're going to have the poll in the email. But I want to start with just the internals. So once I've got it addressed to those people, I can come over here to the little new meeting poll button. So it's on the message tab um, here. I'm in the message tab. Now, as I said, I'm doing this in Outlook for Windows. You can get this tool for Outlook for Mac and you can also use it on Outlook for the web. So it's a very um, cross-platform tool. Right, so now that I've got the address, I'm gonna come in here to new meeting poll and it's gonna open up in just a sec on the side here, Microsoft Find Time. So first things first, we always just give it a second to load. Beautiful, I can see that happening there. Oh, wow, don't you love that on a live demo? Let's hope that's gonna reload and not look like that. That's better, that's what we were looking for. All right, so what this tool does is it starts by looking at the calendars of the people that I have added to the email to see when they are free. Once it's established that, it suggests times where we might want to have the meeting. And these times are going to form the basis of the poll. So we can choose the duration we want in the meeting. So let's say we want a 45 minute. It's going to update here. We can choose the time zone. So I can see that Glenn and Adrian are currently free at these times. So I'm going to select a couple of them. Then I'm going to move across here to maybe uh, not Saturday, next week. And I'm going to choose a couple more from there. Beautiful. So you can see now I've selected five times for my poll. So I'll click next and we can add here some, we can add some information about where the location would be if that's going to be useful for the people. But we can also turn on and off some settings. Now I'm not going to go through all of them. You can have a look at them and you can hover over them and it will tell you what each setting does. But nonetheless, we've got this here as the times people can pick from. So I'm going to click add to email now and it's going to pop it in here and you'll see this is what people will see and they can go in and vote. Now, I would obviously write above and below this, hi, everyone, looking to plan a meeting, blah, 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 click here to vote, etc. So then when they vote, I can come back in here to this email, the send email and look in the find time tool for the results. But what you can also do is find time is actually a tool you can log into in a web browser and you can see a dashboard of your polls and people's responses in there as well. So I find that the easiest way to deal with it. 